everyone. So this is our reflection lesson. So it's an end of topic reflection lesson on ecosystem processes. So same as before, we'll be doing a green reflection sheet, going through our orange rag sheet and see how we've done and fill in any gaps in knowledge. Then we'll have a few targets um, to do with this ecosystem processes. And then we are gonna have a game of Kahoot. So what I want you to do is go through YouTube, show my homework, finish all the online lessons and experiments. We are filling in any gaps in knowledge or missing work. You should now have completed eight science lessons plus one or two revision lessons. So one if you had Bank Holiday Friday off because you had a lesson on that or two if you had a normal timetable that started on a Monday. So eight lessons, one or two revision lessons, and then obviously the online test. So exactly like we do in the class, you need to rag this orange sheet. There is one here for the X band, and then on the next page is one for the grammar stream. So you need to copy out the information here, and then I want you to rag it as to whether you are happy, sad, ticks or crosses, exactly like we do in lessons. So this is your green reflection sheet that we do in class. Obviously we haven't got green reflection sheets to give you. However, I want you to make your own in your book. So we need uh, a strength, an improvement and a target based on the test you did yesterday. Um, if you want to extend yourself, obviously do two strengths and two targets. What did you get in your test? Your minimum expected grade is always going to be um, a four and above. So think about what you want to get in your GCSE. So if you're aiming for a seven, put down that you are minimum expected grade of seven. How do you feel you've done in your test? Do you think you could have done more? So in your books, I want you to make your own reflection sheet and fill it in. Okay, so to finish off this topic completely, you are gonna pick for yourself three targets, a minimum of three targets. Obviously, if you want to do more, you can. There are 11 targets in all for you to choose from. Some are harder than others. So over the next few slides, have a look through them, have a read through them, and then decide which targets that you want to complete in your books or on Word today. You need to do at least three, and then you can mark your own work from your own notes. So try and do the targets uh, without looking at your books first of all because obviously we are trying to fill in any gaps in knowledge so try and complete the work first of all and then use your books your notes your word the videos to go back over and check whether you got it right Well done everyone, that brings us to the end of our reflection lesson. I want you now to go to your emails and check the link because we are going to play Kahoot!